name is Meg and I'm the creator of Blossom. Minasan konnichiwa, Blossom daihyo no Meg to moshimasu. Today I decided that I wanted to make this video so I could answer a lot of questions that I've been receiving about Blossom and so that I could also talk about why I started it in the first place and what the mission behind Blossom is. あの、これからもそういうメンタルヘルスとか人種差別問題についてうんで、もしそのような動画に興味があれば、ぜひチャンネル登録お願いします。では、えっと、早速皆さんの質問に答えていきたいと思います。Um, so these are questions that I've either like received quite frequently or um a few days ago I asked you guys if you had any questions um about Blossom. So 英語での質問、英語で答え、日本語での質問を日本語で答えようと思ってます。えっと、まず皆さんの質問に答える前に私から俺を言いたくて本当にここ数週間たくさんの方からDMやコメント、そして私の投稿にライクをシェアしてくれ
issues within your society that's definitely going to affect your mental health, whether it be racism or political oppression, all of those things are very, very important. And so over time, it's kind of developed into a platform where you can learn about different political and social issues. Um, but yeah, that's kind of why I started it. So the third question is, what motivated and keeps you motivated to do this project? I feel like I kind of answered the first question, like the first part of this question, which is what motivated me to start it. And that was kind of like the current situation that our world is in and um, how I'm really passionate about talking about mental health and social issues. And then the second question, what keeps you motivated to do this project is, I feel like people are going to find this answer kind of cheesy, but it's definitely really true and that is the people who follow me and the people who like and DM me and share my messages or, you know, share my posts with other people. Like that really is so inspiring to see how motivated people are to learn about these topics and overall like it's been a really, really positive response that I've received from people and just the endless amount of support that I've received from everyone is definitely what kind of motivated me like what continues to motivate me to keep posting and keep learning myself so that you know I can kind of help spread the word. The fourth question is what are your short-term goals and long-term goals? Um, I think my short-term goal was definitely starting a youtube channel and kind of making this video which definitely takes a lot of courage to really like put yourself out there and like i explained in the beginning i was really hesitant and had a lot of kind of going back and forth with myself like should i do it should i not do it but i figured you know what i'm gonna take this chance and this opportunity to do something that i've never tried before so yeah my short-term goal is definitely kind of kicking off this youtube channel and then my long-term goals, um, I feel like I just want to keep this conversation going about mental health, about racism um, in Japan. I feel like they're very like pressing issues that up until now we haven't really had such an important conversation about it and it's very much long overdue. So yeah that's kind of like my long-term goal is to just keep this momentum going and um yeah えっと、活動を展開して地域などを教えていただきたいです。えっと、今私はあの、普段は大学のために海外に住んでるんですけど、今はコロナウイルスのために日本に一時帰国していて、多分1月ぐらいまで一応日本にいるつもりなんで あの、グループとかで話し合えるイベントとかもっとみんなで勉強できるようなイベントを開催したいと思っているので、その時はあの皆さんとシェアするのでよろしくお願いします。I think this is a really important question. It says, where do you get all of your information about Black Lives Matter and everything? So I do a lot of research. Um, making one post can easily take up to like a full day because I really wanna make sure that the information that I'm spreading is as accurate as possible. And when it comes to like social issues, it's definitely, it's kind of inevitable that um, the information is going to be a bit biased depending on where I get the source from. So that's why I try to look at a bunch of different sources. Usually I look at CNN, BBC, Washington Post, The Guardian. And then if it's like Japanese, like I'll also look at like the Japanese version of these websites if they have it. I definitely look at the Japan Times. Um, if I get information from other kind of like activists and other influencers on Instagram, I definitely... I, I credit them or I'll share that on my story as well. So yeah, I mean, I, I kind of get my information from all over the place and I really, really try to make sure that I'm fact checking to make sure that I'm being as accurate and inclusive as possible. And another reason why I really like this question is because I think it's a great opportunity for me to say that I'm not perfect. 
and I definitely am still learning as I do this and I think a lot of the times people assume that I'm some kind of like professional and I have a PhD but I really don't and that's why I'm very very careful to you know make sure that I'm being as informative as possible and as politically correct as possible and it's definitely like a learning process for me as well so i really appreciate people being patient with me and people kindly you know commenting and saying oh hey like i think this is incorrect or i think you meant to say this but it's actually this um so yeah えっと今回の動画では本当にざっくりと皆さんの質問にあの答えること しかできなくてごめんなさい。あの、たくさんの質問をいただいたんですけど、やっぱりその質問の内容によって、あの、ただのそのボアさんの自己紹介だけではなく、本当に別の動画を作れるぐらいの内容深い質問もいただいたので、